Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Friday, May the 5th. Um, we have a special guest for the audio listeners. I mean, actually, no, we put it in the title every single time. I literally <laughs> open up every podcast. I'm like, oh my God, surprise. And it never is. We have Mary Griffin on our podcast today. But before we get into her and start grilling <clears throat> her, we have a message. Yeah. Also, shout out. It's our 20th episode. So that's pretty cool. And I can't believe that. It's insane how fast it's gone. But um so dave had planned to use this time to advertise a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar patio home phillips real estate has listed but he got that under contract last night so that means all the houses dave currently has listed are under contract and he needs new homes to advertise here on our podcast if you've been thinking of selling your home or if you have a friend or family member about to sell give dave a call at 540-346-4552 and let phillips phillips real estate help you It's a strange market right now, so having an experienced agent like Dave to help you navigate those waters can make a lot of difference when selling your home. Plus, you get to have us talk about it on this podcast. So give Phillips Real Estate a call at 540-346-4552 and let them help you out today. Our new guest, you can unmute yourself. You can keep it off unmute. Yeah. Okay. Coming I don't in know up. what's going to happen over here, but I'll unmute. (laughs) Coming in at five foot six. Captain, I'm five seven. Head. Five seven. <laughs> Is that what it says online that I'm five six? No, we just no, like five to seven with lies. <laughs> no, okay, um, that's fine. Okay, that's you're not letting us do our intro, Mary. <laughs> Sorry, I just really want you to be five seven. I don't want to get okay, twisted. Okay, sorry, okay. Coming in at five foot seven. Captain on the Virginia Tech lacrosse team. Always in hunch mode. Past slash current podcast host herself. I'm not sure. Self proclaimed queen of Thompson. <laughs> Hold streak for most requests to be on this podcast, even longer than Raven. And most importantly, our good friend, Mary Griffin. Griffin. Wow. That's like the best summary I've ever gotten in my entire <laughs> life. I also added um, White Lyle. <laughs> oh, yes. I was, I'm was. more of like, it's just like fun. Way. It's praying. I remember... Yeah. When Kayla won her, her got, she got her like what nine threes or something like that. Mary was going and she was like, yeah, Kayla hit like 13 threes. Like, oh my God, she broke the record. And like people were fully believing it, but like. Yeah. Well, I believed it. I like tricked myself too. I'm like, oh yeah, it's so true. Um, yeah. It's all in the fun. No lies are yeah, it was never bad. harmful, but. You lie in a way to benefit other people, which is so concerning. Yeah. And also yeah, it like- makes it sound like she lies all the time. She doesn't, but I can just tell now like. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's so funny. Like, some of my teammates will be like, well, yeah, I trust Mary the most. Like, you're probably the one, one of the most trustworthy teammates. And then someone will swoop in and be like, she lies all the time. Like, And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but I lie about stuff that doesn't matter. Like, it's just fun right. pranks. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, no, when it comes to real stuff, like, she's super trustworthy. So, <laughs> no, um, disclaimer. But <laughs> I do claim to be a prankster. And just, I just love to, like, spice things up, you know? Like, I want to see, like, I'm – no matter how much I lie, I'm still a good liar, and it's fun to tell people of funny things. So I'm here for it. Okay, <laughs> keep that in mind. Um... <laughs> I won't lie on here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we're asking you. I don't know. Oh God. Okay, maybe. <laughs> you know, um, so it's been a little over a week since we last recorded. Um, obviously, the main event that's going on in my life is the Taylor Swift concert. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't gone like over 30 minutes without mentioning that to someone. Uh, and the, but the vlog is up to see how that went. So if you want to hear more about it, you can go watch that. Um, but we all know how I feel about that. Mary, do you like Taylor Swift? You know, I've, we've <laughs> talked about this a lot. So I love, I love Taylor Swift. I want Swift. people to know, Mary. <laughs> I love Taylor Swift, but am I a Swifty? I don't think it's right for me to claim myself as a Swifty because I don't think I'm as knowledgeable as her true fans. And I would love to go to her concert, but I don't think... I deserve it because I don't think I would understand all her Easter eggs. Like I'm aware. I know what's up. I love her music. She's great. But am I a Swifty? No, but I love Taylor Swift. I don't know if that makes sense, but my sister is like a huge Swifty. Like she has a podcast for it. has like two tickets, like for two different concerts, like major Swifty knows all her stuff. Um, I love Taylor Swift, but I'm not on the same level as her true, true deep fans. I feel like if you love Taylor Swift, then you can be a Swifty. I feel like there's like there's levels to that. Like just because because I don't like read into all the yeah. Easter eggs and stuff like that. Like I can't keep up with it. Um, but I feel like if you love her, then like she would want you to acknowledge yourself. You okay. just, 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 you guys. I'm a Swifty. 
<laughs> I'm happy I can proclaim that now. I'll add that to the list. Oh, okay. cool. I'll shut up about that because people are probably sick of it. Um, but Georgia didn't come to Atlanta. I we were discussing it a little bit. But what did you do instead? I went to Derby Day. <laughs> God. I didn't know what you're talking. <laughs> Would you like to explain what Derby Day is? We have children. Okay. In a, in a yeah. PG sense? Yes, yes. I'll explain Derby Day to the best of my ability. So it started three years ago, so my sophomore year. Um, and my uh, an alum of the team, like one of my best friends, Riley Reed, like she loves a good theme party. So Derby Day was coming up, and she thought it would be so great to like throw our own Kentucky Derby and wear like really just ugly dresses, like the like cheesiest things you can find. We mostly go to like thrift stores to find them and you know, we alter them ourselves, wear really big hats or like big flowers in our hair. Um, and we have some people race as the horses. And this is all volunteer. They want to race. They <laughs> um, enjoy it. We look forward to it every single year. And um, the winner gets announced and it's a big deal. And it's just super fun. We invite all the athletes to come. Um, it is a really big event that we always look forward to every year. And this year was our third year doing it. And um, last year was our first time having a mechanical bull. And that was a great addition. So we had that again. And we had some custom t-shirts made to represent Derby Day. So yeah, I mean, I think everyone had a great time. We even threw in this year an all, um, an all teams race. So one representative from each team that attended Derby Day. What? Um, they I raced. Who did so I think the football team won, but lacrosse was second. Shout out Lizzie Lore. Um, I don't think anyone from your team participated, but I wish they did. Um, but I mean, Georgia, what did you think of Derby Day this year? Oh, it was a blast. Always is. I think we look. I always forget to go and get an outfit, so I always have to like scrounge what I have. Mm -hmm. But I did make use of my cowboy hat from Texas. Mm -hmm. um, your, but it was your fun. final four denim jacket. My denim jacket, my bandana, all of that really fit the part. Um, did ride the mechanical bull. Was really shocking at it. Really awful. It really? was really hard this year. Mary was controlling it. Yeah, weren't you doing it? <laughs> it was really difficult, and it was difficult to control. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys really stood out in the crowd, like with the final four gear. We, we all knew. Like a bride or anything like that. No, it was, it was great. It was great. Closet. No, I would have worn it too. Like, why? Yeah. Why do you own it if you're not going to wear it? And that was well, a perfect event. Wore a blue dress, right? What'd you say? You wore a blue dress, right? Yeah, I wore a blue dress. It was yeah. really originally floor length, but I cut it because I had to think about like the mechanical bull. Like, I had to be more mobile on that. So, yeah. and then I made a headband that had like a giant bow on it. So. And that was orange. So it was an orange and blue this year. Mm -hmm. And I was comfortable. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty enough. It, it felt was. fine. You and it was great. Yeah. I'm excited. It was awesome. Everyone was so well dressed, fit the theme. Always a good time. We also recently too went to Mary's birthday dinner. Oh yeah. yeah. When Everyone birthday, better Mary? mention Mary a happy birthday. My birthday was on Earth Day. I, it's always on Earth Day. Um you I had a date. <laughs> April 22nd. <laughs> um, and I think Earth Day and my birthday are very fitting. I'm very down to earth. No. Okay, one. <laughs> one. Live <laughs> to one. You're right. You taught me. <laughs> um, love the earth. All about that. <laughs> um, spend a lot of time outside. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, you guys came. And sh um, shout out to my parents. They actually moved to Blacksburg for... They're, they're renting for the year. So I'm the um, youngest of five. So they were like, what, what's the next chapter as an empty nester? And it was to follow their last kid to college because <laughs> they want to watch all my games. They love sports. And why not just live in my backyard, basically? That's how far away they are. Um, so it's nice having parents in town. I think my teammates kind of like it more than I do. Like They like having parents. And um, we have a lot of dinners there with my friends or my team to like my mom's number one rule is whenever we have a dinner, we have to sit down. Like she wants it to be a sit down dinner. Like she thinks it provides so much more conversation. So when she asked what I wanted for my birthday, I was like another dinner. Like I would love for everyone just to sit down. And um, it was fun to see like you guys interact with my grade on our team. And I thought it was fun. And um, we had a game the next day. So it was just chill vibes. We had some pasta, always a good meal to eat before a game. But I mean, I had a good time. I felt like I was surrounded by people 
that I love and they love me. So I thought it was a good 22nd birthday. Taylor year. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> now that I'm a Swifty. I love that your mom loves games too. That was my favorite Whoa. part. We had games prepared or whatever that we got yes. to play centered around you, of course. Oh, yes. She is a big gamer. And that's like ever since I was little. Like this past Easter, we played it a few times, but we played it with my teammates this year. She hard boils like 12 eggs and then like uh, leaves 12 raw and you have to answer trivia questions. And if you get it wrong, you have to crack one of the eggs on your head and just hope it's raw or hope it's not raw. Hope it's hard boiled. And like she just I'm like, how do you think of these things? Like she just like loves games. <laughs> Can you do that? Can I do that? When do you do that with the oh, eggs? Easter? Like like eggs, like you hard boiled eggs and like dye them. Um, yeah. So, but so like we do, we do an Easter. I don't know. She just is like, let's play a game. Like I'm like, okay, Easter egg hunt too. We obviously do that. So we did that again, and that was fun. Well, I love that. That's gonna be me as a mom. I love games. She does. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun, and she like always buys games. We do a lot of games over Christmas too. Mm-hmm. Lots of themes. Yeah, our family's just, we're never doing nothing, I will say. Well, that's fun. That's how I'd mm-hmm. like it. Yeah. Um, next topic to discuss, Mary. So uh, how would you claim to rank in terms of, like, how big of a fan you are of Virginia Tech women's basketball? Number number one. Like, <laughs> why the hesitation? What did you say? I said, why the hesitation? No, like, I just think it's such an obvious answer that I'm like, I can't believe I'm going to ask this. But it is number one. Um, every single game I was able to go to, I was there. And um, shout out to Paige and Jordan, too. They came to a lot of games. And we were even going to go to Texas. Like, we were ready. But we had, we um, unfortunately, only got to able to go to the championship because we had a game on Saturday. But also shout out Wags because she let us, she was going to let us fly out from Durham where we were playing to Texas so that was I mean like we were ready to send it um never got to wear your gear but (laughs) or your practice gear um sad about that one but we have next year so I'll wear some of that and I'll make sure I'll go to the final four as long as I'm able to but I would say I'm number one um I listen to this podcast all the time (laughs) okay three (laughs) bye um i like know your plays i just i just like i love this he team. does though because one i know was- i know some plays i know some of them you know action no you know 45 yeah i know so i can like pick up on some of the motions and some of the tendencies of your team i'm sure she knows that georgia comes off ball screens when we're <laughs> like that's all yeah, that. <laughs> yeah like i know enough like i played basketball like i wish i was better at it but um it's been so much fun like watching you guys and like I think it's really just cool to also like be your friend like like not just a fan but also your friend like like I'll never forget Georgia when you got um might might butcher this saying um oh my god what is it called triple double triple double (laughs) when you got that like me and Paige literally were crying in the stands like because you um we were on your ticket list we're like we're literally like her family and like we're watching (laughs) We're so proud of her. So, right. like, we were just so excited. Um, awesome. And then, obviously, like, we got really close with y'all's families. Like, that was so fun, sitting with your families. Like, we got so many high fives from the squad. Like, shout out, Liz, your parents, Raven, um, Tom King. Like, great, great parents, set of parents. Like, love them. But, like, I feel like we were just part of it as mm-hmm. we continued going on. So, that was just great to be a part of a fan base like that, like a loyal fan base. Um, and I felt very honored to sit with them rather than in the student section. Cause I like to sit and watch and like study the game, you know, <laughs> study yeah. y'all. <laughs> you guys were so good that one time when they were over and at this time, Georgia like had known that I was coming back already oh. and I can't remember what happened. No, it was pa- no, I know it was Paige, but you you guys were like, um, so who are you guys gonna have next year? And I looked at Liz and I was like, well, it's gonna be us. And I was like, but like it was like in conversation. And Paige like, yeah, yeah. Paige was like, wait, hypothetically, if it was <laughs> yeah, they were, it was, yeah. It was <laughs> funny because when you said that, it went over my head. Like I'm just like in another world. I'm like, oh, I was trying to give you credit. 
No, it wasn't me. It was Paige. Liz, you stopped the conversation. You're like, Georgia. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's going on? And Paige, was like, Paige was like, oh my God, like, are you staying? And I was like, wait, I just missed all of that. But yay, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, we were in the know, which was really a proud moment of mine as well. Um, all of my coaches and teammates were like, is Liz coming back? Like she celebrated senior day. Like I was like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, we'll find out. I'll find out the same time as you guys. <laughs> so that's a good lie. I had to keep. So. <laughs> we also <laughs> like, so many moments this year where like you guys were coming to our apartment and we were just like, not like a uh, rant. Like it was a rant, I guess, like that we both were like able to like mm. talk about. Obviously you're in like team sports and stuff like that, but sometimes it's good to just hear outside perspective. Like, having that like two different sports but it's like experiences relatively the same thing like it was cool oh, yeah it's always so nice and refreshing to hear like a different side from a different team and like um there's just like so much to like fill you guys in on and like vice versa and like mm -hmm. it's just nice to have an outside perspective even if we needed like advice like I came to you guys for so much advice this year like I was in such a different role as like captain and um being like a leader and um it was just very different for me so, like, hearing you guys and, like, your insight and your, like, just experience helped me a lot, even more than you probably realized. So, I thought it was just really nice to have that outlet this year, too. Can we expose the name of the group chat or no? What is it called? Oh, it's what do we do, right? <laughs> it's in all caps, like, yeah. urgent, like, what do I do? Like, it was, <laughs> it was just always about problems. I was like, guys, what do I do if this happens? <laughs> like, this happened today. What do I do? Um, which came, it was very useful. Like, I feel like we were always chatting, like at least like once or twice, like every other day, yeah. um, which was, it was very nice to have that outlet this year and I'm going to need it again next year. So, okay. yeah. Ooh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> next year, <laughs> we'll get back to that later. Um, okay. I lost, cause you said about the, the practice jokes and I was like, okay, anyways, mm -hmm. um, Last thing for this section, what is your rose and thorn of the season? Oh, my God. You're hitting this, like, giving me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> um, rose and thorn of the season. <sighs> okay, I'll say my rose first because it's always good to be positive. Um, I would say, like, it, it's weird, but we lost our last game. But I would definitely have to say our last game was a lot of my rose. Um, we lost to Syracuse, I believe, by two, but the game was very close, like, the entire time. And they're ranked, like, top three in the country, and they're a really talented team. But um, I, the reason that's my rose is because the first time we played them, we got, like, blown out. Like, I don't even know what the score was. But I think coming having such a close game in the ACC tournament, that was such a good sign of growth and, like, direction that our team wants to go towards. And – um, I was really excited just to see what our team was capable of and that we're finally like filling in roles and spots and um, developing as the people and players we want to be. So that was definitely my rose and it gave me a lot of hope going forward. Um, and it's sad that that was our last game, but I'm excited for the future. So that gave me a lot of excitement and hope. And then my thorn would, <laughs> would definitely have to be the start of the season. That was a really, really tough time um we start in february so that's always just a tough time to even like start a season an outdoor sport too it's cold but um we had a really really tough start with playing some of the best teams in the country like i said like right off the bat i think the first three games we played or first like around three um we played the top like three teams in the country right now so and one team's like like all of them are just doing so well so that was definitely a hard time to just like start the season not with our best record but wags always was like don't focus on the numbers like it doesn't matter um we've still have so much of the season left and we ended with a great like a great record for our program so um that was definitely my thorn but i'm happy it was at the beginning and not at the end so that's good who, who won the acc uh tournament um boston college so yeah unc has won it i think six years in a row but now it was their first time losing in the championship. So, but BC's won probably. natties before, so they're great too. <laughs> Everyone's good in the ACC. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Well, do you guys want to share yours? We've done that a few times on the board. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I know I knew that. You guys, come listen. You guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm just. Do you want to do Rose and Thorn? Um. 
I haven't really thought about this. Yeah, not really. I'm... Okay, okay, then you'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> Just felt no. like I would give the question back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're more worried about you, Mary. Well, okay, <laughs> then I'll take I'll take the um, attention. No worries. <laughs> We were out with Mary, and people were taking pictures of um, Liz and I. And Mary was like, "I literally can't go out with you guys anymore. Like, I'm getting so jealous." We you couldn't guys. walk five steps. Like, I, I was just, I'm over it. I was like, <laughs> I'm trying to hang out with my friends, and like, I just started telling everyone I was your manager, and they were like, "You're <laughs> important too." They're like, "You're just yeah. as important as them," and I was like, "I'm not their manager, but I'll take it." So that's another harmless lie. Like, it's fun. People believe it. You. We love when people ask and. Yeah, it was sweet when Mary got in all the pictures too. I'm sure people looked at the roster afterwards. Like, <laughs> I was asked a few times if I was on the team, and I was just like, "Yeah." <laughs> We're like, "Congrats!" No, and then I had to break it to them. I was like, "I'm on the lacrosse team." They're like, "Oh, that's cool, Joe." I was like, "Thank <laughs> you." No, no, I, heard, I, heard you, I heard you ask multiple people. You're like, "Oh, have you been to like a women's lacrosse game?" And they're like, "No." And then you give them. Oh yeah, I was like, "You're not." I was like, "If you're gonna support women in sports." You have to come to all of them. So yeah. please come to the lacrosse game next And week. that's a fact. That's something that we will stand by. We have to mm -hmm. many times. Go to as many women's and sports games as possible. Like, that's that's the rule, you know? Exactly. Support. Yeah. Are you going to talk about this? No. Oh, I have one last thing to add. And this okay. is not really for Mary, but more so the listeners. Yo, I just spent damn near – is that a curse word? Yeah. I just yeah. spent nearly <laughs> – Two hundred dollars on um, World Cup jerseys. I'm all in for the FIFA World Cup. Australia. I think someone asked me about this. Um, what team I would go for? Australia. How could I not? I bought Sam Kerr jersey, obviously, and then I bought an Ellie Carpenter jersey because I've been watching, and this is a shameless plug, the Matildas documentary on Disney Plus, and it is so good. So I had to buy two jerseys. That's all I had to add. So if any of you guys want the smoke, mm, I'm gonna root for United States. Okay. But Australia is close second for me. I'll root for them. I've sure. always liked the country of Australia. <laughs> it's great. But I'm going to stick with my USA girls. So. Someone asked me the other day, they're like, how's America? And I'm like, <laughs> they were like, how's Australia? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's good. How's America? Like, you know, no. like, and I'm like, what? Australia's really good. I don't know. Like, how's Australia going for you? Me? And I'm Australian. I'm so confused. Okay, never mind. No, I think it's a me problem. I mean, it'd be like me coming up to you and be like, hey, Liz, how's America? Yeah. Sorry, random. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get that. Anyways, let's go into our first segment. Um, roommate report card. We have a message from one of our favorite sponsors, can't have favorites. Um, hey, Hokies, graduation is right around the corner, and 310 Rosemont wants to send off the class of 2023 with a special deal. Mention Queens of Castle in store in Blacksburg for 23% off your entire purchase. Some exclusions may apply. Be sure to stock up on your summer wardrobe with this deal before leaving Blacksburg. We're going to be heading soon and putting it in a vlog, and you'll have to watch to see what we get. But, yes, go to 310 Rosemont. We love them. They're the best. Roommate report card, Georgia. Let's go. Uh, I give an A because we had game night. We played Cards Against Humanity. I think that's like – I hate – games i think we've mentioned before that i'm just like not competitive with it makes it. me so sad but cards against humanities i just lose it because those cards are just wild like how can you not yeah so okay that was an abrupt you done yeah okay um i'm just grading us as a group uh as a manager of this apartment i'm gonna give us a c because we needed to vacuum for so long and it's disgusting and the counters need to be wiped down and i'm just fed up yeah, we'll so do see. it after this. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Well, I need a nap, and then we can do it. Okay. Um, but Mary, so for Roommate Report Card, do you have any funny roommate stories or experiences that you can share on a podcast that children listen to or no? <laughs> um, in, like, my own personal house. Um, not that I don't know if children can listen, but I will. Can I give myself a grade for my roommate? Um, yeah. Like, but as your roommate, because I feel like I was your roommate a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> I give myself an A plus because I made a mess. So I, I, we were all gonna have a sleepover. Well, well we were having a sleepover. We were having a sleepover, and she wanted. Yeah, to we were just having a sleepover, and I was really excited. I was like, guys, we get to like have a sleepover, and I moved um, a mattress onto the ground because I wanted us to all be together. And then I, the second my head hit the pillow, I said, I actually hate sleeping at other people's houses. 
what am I trying to do here? Who am I? So I quickly, my anxiety, you know, got the best of me. I was like, I'm actually leaving you guys, but this was great. And I cleaned up. No, no, no. you didn't say that. You just started shuffling, <laughs> shuffling the mattress. <laughs> and then you got me and We all just wanted to have a sleepover. Like, you know, like, like it would have been fun. I don't know the last time I had like a good old fashioned sleepover. So I tried to be as quiet as possible, putting the mattress back. And I knew it wasn't going to work. It's a mattress. Like it's going to make noise. So I was just like, you know, I'm going to have to just own it. I, I can't sleep here. I have to sleep in my own bed. <laughs> like, so yeah, that, but I give myself an A plus. I think I cleaned up well after that. Yeah. You did. But I think you made good memories. Oh, I'll be obviously we're, we're counting it now. So <laughs> I, I agree with you, Mary. Thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Next, <laughs> our next segment is That's a Raven. Um, uh, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's make it short and sweet, Georgia. What do you have? Um, we came back. Well, they came back from Atlanta. And the uh, common room TV remote has been missing for a minute. And I think Raven lost. Well, I know Raven no, lost No, yeah. It. it was conveniently lost when we Raven came, was here. When Raven was here, yeah. Um, and so we come out into the common room and the couch is flipped upside down completely turned over and raven's like scurrying for it she's flustered she calls her dad she's like dad they lost the room I, I, they she goes dad we lost we <laughs> say i because she's she the one it. that lost it she never said it but obviously it was implied yeah, um, she was just scared that my dad was gonna have to make her buy us a new remote and she take, spend the, take money. the money out of her allowance so that's it on that but the couch was fully flipped over and fully. if you know raven She's never lifted anything in her life, but I just want to know how she got the couch upside down. Oh, sh- I don't know. No, I don't want to live one. Well, she, was on, she was on all fours looking at the hands, hands and, knees, and knees looking for this remote. Scouring. We still haven't found it. Yeah, so whatever. Yeah, there's a good one. Um, and then this is short and sweet also. If you saw my Snapchat, then you already know, but we were just driving and she looks at me and she goes, can you keep a secret? And I said, sure. Obviously I can't because I'm telling everyone, but then she just said, there's fruit in my closet. What type of fruit? I don't know. There's fruit in her closet. Definitely a banana. I, I hope. Raven I hope eats bananas. Sort of- Raven unpeels the bananas and just grabs it like this and eats it <laughs> hands and all. She does. Like It's not even like, it's like this. Yeah, there's no peel and it's with the fingertips. It's just fingertips. And then she puts it in a napkin for later. <laughs> Okay, Mary, I'm sorry to make Oh, no, I was just thinking, I was like, banana's probably the worst fruit to have in your closet. That is going to go bad. Thank Oh, my God. It's a peel, though. If but the peels go brown and they leak. They start to juice. Mm-hmm. In my primary school days, okay. in my high school days, when I used to leave bananas in my backpack, my backpack would reek. Okay, would, like, okay. Juice. Okay, what's the best fruit to keep in a closet? I guess apple. apple. Yeah. Or an orange. Yeah. Then those get squishy. Mango. Like that. Mango or pineapple. I would pineapple. say pineapple. I don't think that I've never seen a pineapple rot. I don't okay. know what that entails, but I think that's a safe option. I feel like it would definitely go inside out. Like I don't feel like a pineapple skin would rot. Mm-hmm. Cool. Or a coconut. Now we're coconut. Doing- yes. That could be a great one. Mm. So pretty much any tropical fruit. There's gonna tropical. be coconuts and pineapples in Raven's closet next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh- so that was perfect for that segment. Uh, now we have Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokey House. Go down to Hokey House, listen to great music, have some great food, and play your Song of the Week or play our Song of the Week. We have some fun ones this week, so go to Hokey House. Georgia, what is yours? I have a playlist of the week because we got a speaker for the ACC, I mean, NCAA Final Four. Obviously, Mary knows I has a microphone. She had a crack at it the other night. <laughs> so I've been in my music kick. So my song number one is Dangerously in Love by Beyonce. That's been my slow jam. Number two is Dance For You, Beyonce. That's another one. And then another one, it's from TikTok, but it's that it's called Tekka, like T-E-K it. I don't know. If you listen to it and you're on TikTok, you would definitely know it, but I like it. And my last one is After Last Night by Bruno Mars. That's my playlist of this week. Okay. Great. Love Mary. Beyonce. Mary, what's oh, I get to go. <laughs> Oh, I've been struggling because I really need new music. Like, I feel like I've been kind of not finding music that I like recently. But funny, Liz, that once you posted your Instagram about going to Taylor Swift and I said, what were the surprise songs? And you said, I bet you think about me. I've honestly have been listening to that like a lot. Like Paige and I have 
sat on the couch a lot, watched the music video. Like we were in like our old Taylor Swift vibe. So I would have to say it's honestly that one. And it's inspired by you. Isn't it good? It's so good. I mean, like I knew it, but I was just like, the second you said, I was like, gosh, those lyrics, you know, like they're stuck in my head. So I've been playing it and it's still stuck. So it's, it's great. I love it. Well, that's actually so convenient then because we have the same song of the week because mine were going to be the two, the two surprise songs that I got, which were I Bet You Think About Me and How You Get the Girl from the concert. So, yeah. Wow. Mary, we're so aligned. Great. I just like, need new music. Um, maybe I'll check something out if anyone has any recommendations. But, you know. Well, George has a whole playlist, apparently. So just Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, I mean, I love Beyonce, so maybe I should just get back into that. Part of I was life. also going to suggest You Really Crushed Heil by Rihanna. Yeah, that is in my range. Mm-hmm. Like, I, that is a talent of mine. So, yep. yeah, I definitely think I did crush that one, too. So I was thinking that, that could be my song of the week, too, because that was a good time singing that. that and Always good. Valerie. Anything by Amy oh, okay. <laughs> Love okay. her. We were listening to Hire in the cookout drive through so here's a little question. What's your cookout order normally? Um... Okay, I love their milkshakes. Like, that's always a good one. And I get, like, Oreos and cookie dough or Reese's or whatever. Um, but I really like their, like, m- like cheese curd things. Like, love those. They're, like, mini mozzarella sticks. Like, I love mozzarella sticks. So, mini yeah. ones from Cookout, the best. So, um, I, a lot of people do trays. Like, I'm not really a big tray girl, but I have a big sweet tooth. So, I probably would most likely get a milkshake and then cheese curds um, well, what kind of milkshake that's such vital information definitely like i yeah like oreo cookie dough reese's you're not that picky you don't have like a Mm-mm. like yeah like i definitely would be a sweet like they have watermelon like i'm not doing that but like yeah. you know like i need something classic like a classic milkshake yeah. um yeah so i'm i would go for the sweet over salty which is kind of weird but i would i would no, oh, we would like that too, except last time when we were at cookout, we <laughs> drove off without the milkshakes. So. Yeah. We got to your um, parking lot. I was like, so where's the milkshake? <laughs> you were like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, I was kind of thinking about that the whole drive home, but I, just, I don't know why I didn't say anything. I kind of went mute. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in a while. Time time. Time. I was like, it might be in the back. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't, well, didn't want to insert yourself. When no, were- I trusted you, but uh, what type did we, you even get? It was caramel fudge, I think. Mm, okay, I wish I would have tried that. No, the caramel milkshakes from Cookout are so good. That is okay. A- I'll try it. Oh my I'll god, try it. I like caramel. I like salted caramel, so like that's awesome. It never sounds like I'm like always oh, caramel. Okay, whatever. And then you have a bite, and you're like, oh, this is addicting. Like I mm-hmm. see why I get this. Yeah, I definitely have to add something else, but okay, I'll try it next time. We said fudge. Oh okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do caramel. Do you, what else goes with caramel? Oreo, Oreo, short. Yeah, Oreo, like anything sweet. But I'll I'll try the caramel. I mean, I'll I like it. Tastes the same. Yeah, it tastes like sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now we're in the part of the podcast where we just kind of do questions for Mary. That's what we titled it. <laughs> like we've done this the whole time, but I'm so excited for this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Something new to pick it up. Yeah. Um, well, it is grad season, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm graduating this semester. So are you. So what's your degree in? Well, I am getting my degree in sports media and analytics with a minor in sociology. Um, Sounds like a really, it is a fun major. It's originally when I was a freshman in college, I thought I wanted to be a sports broadcaster, but honestly, I don't think I want to do that anymore. I knew I liked to talk. I knew I liked to be on camera. I knew I could talk about anything. But I don't really like the scripted part of it. I just kind of like doing my thing. So um, I've learned a lot. And I also I like the more of like the sports marketing side of side of it. So um, like this summer, last summer, I worked with Adidas and then I did brand media. And that wasn't like camera work, but I like the side of advertising and like using media to kind of sell a product or sell a brand. So I really like that. And there's, it's a flexible major. So um, I'm really happy I did it. And I love the people who do it. And my professors are awesome. And I've made, honestly, really good friends with it. And there's a lot of athletes in the um, major too. So it's kind of fun just having like friends in your class. And there's a lot of fun projects I get to do that my teammates are like 
kind of like what that's what you're doing like and i'm like yeah like it's super fun so that's my um major it's very it's niche but also not at the same time but um learned a lot so i'm excited to take a step forward and doing something different for my master's program mm -hmm. um i we've talked a lot about this between us but like similarities between basketball and lacrosse like they're very mm -hmm. much there and mm -hmm. we had no idea until you would be like yeah and they took a charge i'm like how do you know what a charge is <laughs> we were watching the tournament and they were like uh syracuse with the rebound i was like rebound yeah do you guys use the term rebound yeah like if a shot like hits off of a like the pipe of the goal or like or yeah like or like deflects off the goalie it's like oh like you got to get that like second chance opportunity like rebound i guess you can yeah you rebound is the appropriate term like yeah. um deflection like yeah like rebound I, I would call it a rebound like it's a, it's a it's a flexible term yeah. um but yeah there are a lot of similarities so like when i was in, in fifth grade my mom she actually i was in like the I was playing field hockey and lacrosse and um, just had quit soccer. And my mom was like, I want you to play basketball. And I was like, so against it. I was like, I'm fine. Like, why would I do that? She's like, no, like, I want you to be a better defender in lacrosse. Because, like, ever since I was little, I knew I was going to play lacrosse in college. It's just kind of like what my family did. So she kind of, like, made me play basketball. So I'd be a better, like, defender. And I was horrible at offense. Like, actually terrible. But... <laughs> I defend someone yes did I foul a lot probably <laughs> but um I went to a high school that was actually like a really big call uh like basketball school so I was never on varsity we had some like real deal people on our team so I was not really into that so I played two years in high school had a half court buzzer beater game winner no big deal um why have I like, never heard that yeah. oh yeah like it was it was a good time like and the varsity team had a really big game after ours. So, like, everyone was starting to come to, like, watch them. So, I, like, made my moment the be at the best time. And, like, the varsity team, like, tackled me on the court. Like, I think I had a bloody lip after because they, like, <laughs> people tackled me. But, you know, the similarities are – I think defense is obviously, number one, how similar it is, like, the footwork. and um, But also just, like, the terminology. I'll be like, oh, like, that pick, pick screens, like – We'll we'll do like a weave, like flips. I don't know if you guys call it flips, but like when you go, like, yeah. Build, yeah. Do you guys have brush screens? Mm, I'm sure. I don't play offense, but I don't know if we call it a brush screen. But like, I'm sure that's something that we could do. Um, but let me think. Like, lots of we do. We can do zone defense, zone offense. You know, um, you can do you can do a lot. Like, it's very yeah. similar and like pass cut through like oh, you guys, like, need to, like, pass, like, move the ball or, like, yeah, like, just type of things like that. And I think once you guys came to the lacrosse games, you might have saw some similarities, too. Did you? No. That's literally, yeah, we did. Yeah, like, yeah. when you're, like, yeah, when you were, like, watching our games, you're, like, okay. My mom was, like, you guys, because you guys sat with my mom one time. She was, like, I think they, like, were, like, oh, I could definitely, like, play some defense on lacrosse. That's probably easier to pick up because you don't really, like, you can just. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one of you did, but I think they were like, oh, I could like see myself playing defense. Like, no, it's all like the same footwork, but you can have a stick and you can actually hit people, yeah. which is fun. No, all, um, all, all the comments are going to be like, Georgia would be so good at lacrosse. Like, I already know. Yeah. She, really like, awesome. I think both of you guys would. Liz, like, we still need you to do the draw, like, obviously. Okay, I think we need to get into the next... <laughs> <laughs> and then, Georgia, oh. you can ISO and just run as fast <laughs> as you can down the alley and then, you know, shoot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, <laughs> next, uh, we kind of talked about this a little bit ago, you did, but I don't know. I just am really interested with the fact that your parents are living here. Like, I think that's so cute and fascinating. And I just want to know, like, how is it? Yeah. What? I was also going to say, for those who have listened this far, when my family came, they stayed with Mary's family. So, Thank you. Comment thanks to them too. Yeah. They, <laughs> but, they um, loved it. They loved having your family here. Um, what is it like having my parents? Okay, they love it. Like I, I think it's so funny how much they love Blacksburg because um, I'm from Bal like outside of Baltimore, so it's always like something crazy going on, or like we're always just like it's just a busy, busy area. So once they came here, they just thought it was such like simple living. So they love it. 
Um, and my dad loves it so, so much. He thinks it's like such a cool place. He loves getting into like Virginia Tech athletics and like they've also host so many people, whether it be like uh, like your parents or family, but also like my teammates' parents, whenever they come for a weekend game, um, they have two spare bedrooms. So like all like my teammates' families are always at their house and like um, we've had a lot of team events there. Like bond, my dad loves to do bonfires. So we have a lot of bonfires there. And like, um, it's just a really good place to have like families all come together and like have a house. Like it's a little different vibe than like just going to a restaurant or going to um, like a tailgate in the parking lot after our game, actually like being in the house and like people bringing food. Um, it's just so much fun. And I think my teammates also really like it. Um, just having like a mom and a dad figure has been really nice. Like even today I went on a walk with one of my teammates and we stopped by and like walked my dog. So that's always nice having my dog in town. So, um, they really, really love it. And like, it's, it's takes me a while to be like, Oh my God, my parents are literally right there. Like if I ever need anything, like I can just go literally walk to their house. Um, but it's so nice. My siblings are kind of, I don't know if they're jealous. It's just weird. They're like, so I'm the baby of the family and I fit that role very, very well. Um, so they think it's very on brand that my parents followed me. They're like, you didn't do anything for us in college. Like, why are you like so involved with Mary? They're really not. They're just like, like, they're not really like, they don't do a lot. Like they do a lot for me, but it's not like that. They're not like helicopter parents. But um, um, I think it's just a really like unique opportunity. And like, um, it's always nice to have your parents like, and like, I think we take it for granted, like when we get older um, and I get served like that reminder a lot, like even like Georgia, like I know like you being away from your families can be hard. And so like, I should be like embracing it and should be really grateful. And um, ju- it just serves a good reminder, like how much family like means to me and how much it is important. So it's been great and um, they'll be here in the next year. So it'll be great. Um, so I'm excited to have them still and it will be a quiet summer together, but it's nice. Yeah. Well, that's great news that you're planning mm-hmm. on coming back. That makes me very happy. The gang yeah. will be all together still. Yes. Um, so, but thanks for letting us and well, everyone else get to know you a little bit more. Um, you're obviously like a very, uh, I don't know, a very good representative of Virginia Tech. Um, Thank you. Yeah. You, guys so nice. you guys are too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I you know. like in our feels. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thanks for coming on. I hope that, you know, you're glad that we finally had you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like I reached my peak. Like this is I've been on a lot of podcasts, not to sound like that, but like this was the one where I actually asked to be on. <laughs> I've been asking like ever since day one, like, why would you not collab with the Queen of Thompson? Right. <laughs> Like yeah speaking of that <laughs> how should we do our outro if she's queen of thompson okay i'll say i'm liz you'll say i'm, I'm Jordan. Jordan. you'll say i'm mary and i'll say and we're you'll say queens of castle and then you can say and the queen of thompson okay so i'll say after i'm ready okay <laughs> okay are you ready? okay i'm liz i'm georgia i'm mary and we're queens of castle and the queens of thompson <laughs> <laughs> yay that was really good that's it